a great turnout. I mean, this is supposed to be an intimate, you know, kind of coffee house sort of thing. So we, ha we had to like move it out of the, we had another room plan. So I want to try to at least keep it intimate. I don't know how, but we'll try. Okay. Uh, welcome to the universe here. I got to say it the way James Earl Jones says, welcome to the universe. <laughs> You are here under this huge sphere. It is properly supported above your head. <laughs> when we first thought of uh, designing it, the natural thought was to support it from below. How else would you support a sphere? But views from the outside, it looked like a golf ball on a golf tee. We said, that's not cosmic. And so the architects figured how to support it from the sides so that you walk under the sphere as though you are in space. So welcome to the Hall of the Universe. And if you have a chance before the evening's over, you can actually find Pluto. It is a speck on that planet wall there at the bottom, grouped with other of its icy brethren in the outer solar system, the Kuiper Belt. That is where Pluto appears in this facility. 10 years ago, we were the first public institution to readjust Pluto's associations in the solar system, and we got in big trouble with the New York Times about that. But then the rest of the world caught on, and so now the hate mail has diminished significantly. 